Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Jesse Owens was a track and field star. His most famous moment came in the 1936 Olympics when he won for gold medals. Much to the annoyance of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party who hoped the Olympics would be a showcase for Aryan supremacy. In his later life, Jesse Owens became a goodwill ambassador for America and athletics. The battles that count aren't the ones for gold medals. The struggles within yourself, the invisible, inevitable battles inside all of us, that's where it's at. Jesse Owens was born in Alabama and, aged nine, the family moved to the Granville section of Cleveland. His early life was marked by poverty, and he was forced to take many menial jobs such as delivering goods and working in a shoe repair shops. However, he was able to develop his passion for running and athletics from an early age. He was identified as having great potential talent. In later life, he gave much credit to Charles Riley, his high school coach who encouraged him and made allowances for his difficulty in making evening training sessions. Because Jesse had to work in a shoe repair shop, Jesse Owens rose to national prominence in 1933, when he equaled the world record 9.4 seconds for the 100-yard dash. He attended Ohio State University but, without a scholarship, he had to continue working part-time. In the 1930s, America was a highly segregated society, and when traveling with the team, Jesse had to suffer the indignities of eating at separate restaurants and staying in different hotels. Point one of his great athletic feats occurred in 1935, during one particular track meet. He broke three world records. This included the long jump, Owen's record stood for 25 years. 220 yards and 220 yards hurdles. He also equaled the record for 100 yards. Jesse Owens' finest moment came in the 1936 Berlin Olympics. He won Olympic gold in the 100-meter long jump, 200m and 4 asterisk 100 meters relay. An achievement not matched until Carl Lewis in 1984. It was a convincing rebuttal to the Nazis' hopes of displaying Darian superiority. Hitler gave medals to German athletes on the first day, but, after Owen's victories, decided not to give any more medals. Albert Spee later wrote that Hitler was annoyed that the Negro, Jesse Owens, had won so many gold medals. With great irony, Jesse Owens was treated well during his stay in Germany. He didn't experience the segregation that he did back home in the United States and many Germans sought his autograph. During the games, Jesse Owens displayed the sportsmanship that he became renowned for. During the long jump final, he found time to massage his German rival, Lang. Lang later acknowledged the great spirit of sportsmanship that Jesse Owens embodied. Jesse Owens was grateful for the friendship that Lang displayed. Despite achieving a remarkable athletic achievement, Jesse Owens was denied the commercial reward or praise that he might have expected. He was never given a reception by F.D. Roosevelt or future U.S. presidents. In 1936, the American Olympics Association rescinded his Olympic status after Owens refused to travel to Sweden because he felt the financial need to pursue some commercial enterprises back in America, Jesse was forced to take part in various athletic showcases such as racing against horses or racing against local runners with a 10-yard head start. He moved into business but it was not successful and it ended in bankruptcy in the 1960s. He was even prosecuted for tax evasion. However, in 1966, with the civil rights movement gaining impetus, Jesse Owens was given the opportunity to act as a goodwill ambassador speaking to large corporations and the Olympic movement. In 